Hey guys, what's up? It's Captain Esnius here, and today is Easter, so I hope you guys are having a fantastic Easter. And you know what? I'm sorry about this video. I really, I'm gonna be honest here, I have no idea what to upload. This is something that just popped into my mind. I was like, hey, you know what? I could do this. This is something that happened recently. I mean, both of these things that I'm gonna be talking about happened recently. You probably already know what they are, but still so I thought you know what I'll do a video comparing the two and why I like one so much more over the other <laughs> so obviously this video is about the comparison between school and a job and why I like the job so much more than school just so much more it's I know they're not too similar but like school gets you ready for a job and it kind of gets you into that that kind of schedule that uh, of getting up and going somewhere for how many hours a day and then being done and coming home and just repeating that over and over again. And just so you guys know, this last summer, every other week, I would work at my dad's uh, job for a whole week, and then I'd be off a week, and then a whole week, and I'd be off a week. And I was working a, about 40 hour work days. It was more like 37 hours usually, but for the most part, it was, let's just say it was pretty close to 40 hour work weeks basically every day from 8.30 to 5 o'clock, so I'd like to think that I know what I'm talking about. Alright, first of all, the one big giant reason, the one big reason overall that you would want a job over school, it's just so obvious, just if with a job you get paid, and with school you don't get paid at all. I mean, maybe your teacher will be really nice one day and like be like, yo, whoever can do this gets a dollar, but that's about it. I mean, sometimes my school's like, uh, design this and you get a gift card, but you know, it's not like a job where it's like every hour you get paid for how much an hour, and just you know you always have that steady income or you have that salary that's always steady no matter what unless you get fired. So like, obviously with a job you get paid and with school you don't and that's one big plus right there. I mean, you get paid to crap at a job. If you are on the job and you have to take a crap and you go take a crap, just think about it the whole time you're in there. Hey, I'm getting paid to crap. You get you stay in there like 10 minutes on a minimum wage job, which is like 7.25 here. Dude, that's like a dollar right there. <laughs> it's a little over a dollar right there. So uh, yeah, you get paid to crap. I mean, who would not want to get paid to crap at school? It's like sometimes they have like they send people into the bathroom and be like, hey, you okay? Nah, man, you just get paid to crap at a job. And now something else that I think is a big thing because of some things I've witnessed at school slash am going through at school is um the respect that other people give you and that you give other people and just how nice people are. I don't know if I want to say respect, but how nice people are to each other. Like at a job, everybody's respectful to each other. Everybody's kind to each other. You know, you crack jokes here and there. It's all fun and games. And by the way, I'm basing everything off of my own experience as a job. So this is like a manufacturing job, like building stuff, uh, moving things, unpacking things. This is kind of the kind of job that I do. So I'm basing everything off of that. So like I was saying, everybody is so much nicer to you, you're nice to everybody else. I mean, why wouldn't you be if everybody else is nice to you? Crack comments here and there, listen to music. Like, school, like, yeah, sometimes you get to listen to music. You barely get to talk to each other during class. I mean, you, you'll try to talk to each other and then the teachers just yell at you or be silent until the whole class yells at you, because that's always great. But the reason I'm saying this is because at school for like the past three weeks, there's these two girls that I made a comment to three weeks ago, mind you, and they were like yelling at me to do my work better and stuff because the teacher was like, come on Lewis, you gotta pick up the pace and like finish your project, and then like both of them start yelling at me about it, I'm like, yeah, well you're the ones watching Netflix over here, and that's all I said to them, it is literally all I said to them, but that one little comment sparked them to say, Netflix, 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 uh, oh, I think we should watch some Netflix, or just a tiny little comment like that, anytime they see me in that class, or in the hallways, or any, any time, they just stare me down for the past three weeks, and I'm just thinking, these people are seniors, how immature can you be? Like, I'm a freshman, and I feel way more mature than they are just because they're cracking all these comments all the time. Like, that sounds like something I would do in third grade. So yeah, everybody's so much nicer from what I've experienced at a job 
than at school because at school everybody's just like, you know what, we, we can be mean to you, it doesn't matter. With a job, your objectives change every so often, or at least with my job, my objectives change every so often. I know there's like some jobs where it's like, yeah, the same thing every day. You go in there, you pick up the phone, you type in some numbers, whatever. But with my job, it's constantly changing because we're always getting shipments of things in and we have to unpack them and move them places. Like, there'd be a couple days where I'm putting a machine together and then all of a sudden we have this huge shipment and the whole day I'm unpacking boxes. And yes, it does get a little annoying when there's so many boxes to unpack that you never see the end of it. But, you know, it gets you into a little rhythm of things and you just keep going with it. At school, it's like, I mean, at least at a job there's some diversity between things you're doing, but at school I feel like it's just a lot of pencil, paper, oh here's a project, but really it's not a project, it's just pencil and paper. It's just like, here take 50 worksheets that I would, would have given you and let's just call that a project right there. So like with school it's just a lot of pencil, paper, yeah you have your classes every now and then, your 40 minute classes of like, hey let's draw a little bit, or hey let's do some woodwork or metalwork or something like that. But for the most part, school is a lot of study, homework, tests, like just here's homework, uh, I'll give you a couple of those and then here's your next test. Another thing that I think is way better about a job over school, which yes it is about the same in both way, but grading. At school you get graded on everything you do, you get graded on participation, how well you do things, just everything. At a job, you know, it. Yes, you want to get better at something if you're bad at it, but at a job, you know, you just do your thing and just nobody grades you unless you're doing bad. I mean, at least at my job, I mean, if you're doing okay, nobody grades you, but at school, it's like everybody grades you and you know, if you bring home that bad report card, you're going to get punished. At, at a job, if it's not that bad, they're probably just going to tell you to pick up the pace or something like that, but at school, you know, they don't, they don't do that as often. So I feel like grading is something that is just so annoying about school because, you know, you're always like, oh, I hope I, my grades don't go down because then I'll be punished or I'll get this taken away or, like, who knows what'll happen. Like, my parents will be disappointed in me. Just whatever it may be. All right, with this next point, I'm just going to make this short and simple. There's no homework at a job. Well, most jobs. At school, there's homework. There's always homework. It doesn't really matter what you have, it seems like they always want to give you homework. You know, you always have that one teacher that gives a lot of homework, and you always have that one teacher that gives you no homework. But there's still a bit of homework at school, no matter what. At a job, there's usually no homework. Now, the one thing that I did notice that changed quite a bit, and this is probably because I was going from a summer schedule to a work schedule, and a school schedule is somewhere in between there, but going from one extreme to the next, you kind of do tend to notice it. It's the schedule on everything. With work, you, ha you usually go in later, unless you have like an earlier shift or something. You're usually going to work later uh, than normal school, but you're also getting out later. So you get more sleep in the morning, you have more time to get ready in the morning, but then once you get home, uh, you know, you make dinner, maybe like watch something a little bit, work out, like what I did was ca came home, ate dinner, worked out, and then took a shower and went to bed, and that was my work schedule, but you know, some nights I'd not be tired enough because like part of that schedule was also taking a nap, and sometimes i just, you know, play some Xbox, but you know, during school, you get home in an early enough hour, you know, you can take a nap for maybe an hour or two hours. You'll still have a couple hours left after that. You know, you can play some games, work out, take a shower. You know, you got plenty of time after school, but with a job, you have less time. But you know, you're also getting paid, and you also have all these other bonuses of a job over school. So, you know, it, it might weigh itself out in the end. So those are all the main topics I wanted to talk about, why I think a job is so much better than school, and I want to know if you guys agree with me, if you disagree with me, if you have any other points, put them down in the comments below. Sometimes you guys are active, sometimes you're not. Don't forget to like this video because it seems like whenever I ask for likes, you guys give me more likes, so uh, yeah, let's go, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe for more. Peace out.